Good morning, everyone. We're here in my kitchen with my daughter. and We are gonna make pancakes this morning. Okay, so we're gonna get started. First things first, you gotta make sure your hands are washed. We've already washed our hands, and so we're gonna get started measuring some ingredients. Our first ingredient today is flour. This is easy to find in the grocery store, and I bet lots of you have it in your homes already. We keep ours in this container, but mostly it comes in a paper bag or uh, some sort of other packaging at the grocery store, okay? So we're gonna measure one and a half cups of flour. And I'm gonna give it to my daughter to pour in. So if you're working with somebody younger than you, you can do it this way too. Nicely done, all out. And then we'll do another half a cup. So that's one and a half cups of flour. And now we're gonna measure out three and a half teaspoons of something called baking powder. My baking powder looks like this. Other baking powder is in the same kind of container, but it looks a little bit different. So we're gonna measure out three and a half teaspoons. And now I want you to see, this is not a teaspoon, guys. Okay, that's too much. There's a little lip right here and you can scrape it off. You want the top of the teaspoon to be even. So that's one. And you scrape it off again. That's two. And three. Okay. And we want to do another half teaspoon. Okay, so here you go, can you put that one in? All right, so we've done those. We've got baking powder out of the way. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon, so use the same one again, teaspoon of salt. So again, I'm gonna measure it for her and then she can dump it in. If you're working with somebody younger, Make sure that you're helping them. Look at this, it's even. Even though I didn't have a place to scrape, I still did an even teaspoon of salt. All right, and next up is white sugar. The only kind of sugar we had in our cupboard today is called baker sugar. You can use any kind of white sugar that you want. Okay? So I'm gonna pour it as best as I can. If this is a little bit uneven, that's okay. Okay, and now what we're gonna do, these are called the dry ingredients. We are going to stir it up. We're gonna mix it really, really well in here before we add what are called the wet ingredients. Okay. So then we're gonna make a well. What's a well? well we're gonna push some of the dry ingredients to the side, okay? And we're gonna keep a hole in the middle. And now we're gonna pour in milk. This is, I'm gonna do this one because look how full it is, it's pretty heavy. So I'm just gonna have my daughter watch. We pour this in. Okay? And then I'm gonna put in one egg. I'm also gonna crack it myself. If you have white eggs, totally fine. We just happen to have a brown egg today. I pour it right in there. Okay. And then our last ingredient is melted butter. And I'm gonna put it in the microwave in a container. Butter comes in sticks like this. It also comes in logs. What you want is three tablespoons of butter. On the packaging, it tells you how much to cut. So we did one, two, three, and then I used a knife to cut a different stick, okay? So let's get our butter out and we will add it into our pancake mixture. So this one is gonna be a little bit hot. So you don't want a little person to touch it. You wanna make sure that you or another grown up is pouring it in, okay? So we pour all that butter in and now we stir everything up. Get a whisk out and make sure you mix it really, really well. So we're gonna whisk, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. 
Okay. I'm going to make sure all of the ingredients are mixed really, really, really well. If there are some lumps in there, totally fine. You want to get it as smooth as possible, but you don't want to over mix it because then your pancakes won't be very fluffy or delicious. Okay, so I'm going to let her finish mixing it. And I'm going to prepare our pan. So to make pancakes, you need some kind of pan like this. This is a cast iron pan. You don't need to use cast iron. Anything that's maybe nonstick or easy to scoop pancakes out of, you want it low and flat just like this. I'm going to turn on my heat. And I'm going to check if you have a gas burner at home, you want the flame to be medium. If you're using electric, you want to go maybe to four or five because we don't want our pancakes to burn. And in order to make sure they don't stick, we put a little vegetable oil in or some other kind of oil, okay? And so we are going to, I know we spilled, it's okay. I was on. Okay, leave your, leave your whisk there. So I poured a little bit of oil in and I'm gonna let it heat up. Make sure it goes all the way around the pan. This part, if you're maybe younger than like fifth grade, you might wanna ask an adult if you're allowed to use your, your stove and make sure that somebody's helping you, okay? So we're gonna get started here in just a minute. So next thing you need, some kind of scooper or spoon to get the pancake batter out and into your pan. Okay, I'm gonna do this part because it's hot. Okay, and so I put my pancake batter in, put one pancake in, I put a second pancake in, and these are not gonna be beautifully round shapes today. But it's still a pancake, and it's still gonna be delicious. Okay, so here they are cooking away. So you can see in our pan what's going on. So what we're waiting for is to see the edge start to look cooked because that means that underneath the pancake has become a little more solid and then we can use a spatula to scoop it up and flip it over. Okay, so as you're going, oh, I tested it. It's not quite ready yet. And we will keep going, we'll wait. All right, so, so we're gonna come back to you as soon as our pancakes are cooked. Hope to see you soon.